Good day everyone, I'm your teacher Georgie and I will discuss to you the week 1 of grade 8 mathematics module. Week 1 of grade 8 math module is all about factoring of polynomials. After going through this module, you are expected to factor completely the different polynomials with letter A, common factor, letter B, difference of two squares, letter C, sum and difference of two cubes, letter D, perfect square trinomials, and letter E, general trinomials and solving problem involving factors of polynomials. Let us try learning task number one. Recall your previous lessons about the special products among polynomials. Multiply factors in column A, then match the product of column B. Let us try. Example, 3x times 2x minus 5 is equal to, we can use FOIL method or distributive method para makapag-multiply. So, we will multiply 3x to 2x minus 5. 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Then, 3x times negative 5 is equal to negative 15x. So, the answer is 6x squared minus 15x. That is letter C. What is special product of polynomials? When we say special product of polynomials, are a couple of special instances when there are easier ways to find the product of two binomials. Then, multiplying each term in the first binomial with all terms on the second binomial. Look what happens when you square a binomial. x plus 2 squared is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 2. So, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down x squared, then add ang the same variable. So, 2x plus 2x is 4x, then bring down 4. So, the answer is x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is a pattern that is called the square of a binomial pattern. Kung mapapansin natin, magkaiba ang sign na meron ang even. x plus 5 squared is equivalent to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. x minus y squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Kung papansin, papansin ninyo, yung middle term nila ay katulad ng sa given. Kung positive ang given, positive din ang middle term. Kung minus ang given, minus din ang middle term. Para matulungan kayo makapag-solve ng mas madali, we can use FOIL method. What is FOIL method? It is a handy way to remember how to multiply two binomials. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last. It is the sum of multiplying first term, multiplying outer terms, multiplying inner terms, and multiplying the last term. Example, A plus B times C plus D. So, A times C is equal to AC, that is the first term. Then, A times D is equal to AD, that is the outer terms. Then, B times C is equal to BC, that is the middle term. Then, B times D is equal to BD, that is the last term. What is factoring? Factoring is an inverse process of multiplication through factoring. We write polynomials in simpler form and use it as a way of solving the roots of an equation. There are different ways of factoring depending on the types of polynomials factored. First, determine if a common monomial factor or the greatest common factor exists. Factor trees may be used to find the GCF of difficult numbers. Be aware of opposites. Example, A minus B and B minus A. These two may be the same if we factor out negative 1 to any of the expressions. So let us try examples. Example, 3x minus 12. Mag-iisip tayo ng number na pwede natin i-divide sa dalawang term. 
So that is positive 3. So 3x divided by 3 is equal to x. Then negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to negative 4. So ang factor ng 3x minus 12 is equal to 3 times x minus 4. Another example x squared y squared minus 3xy squared. Mag-iisip ka ngayon ng common factor ng dalawang terms. Kung mapapansin nyo, parehong may variable x and y. Always remember, pag nag-factor ka ng variable, ang may pinakamababang exponent, yun ang magiging greatest common factor. So, x squared y squared minus 3xy squared. Ang factor niya ay xy squared x squared y squared divided by xy squared is equivalent to x. Then negative 3xy squared divided by xy squared is equivalent to negative 3. So the final answer is xy squared times x minus 3. So that's all for today. Abangan nyo ang part 2 ng week 1 of Mathematics 8 module. Enjoy learning!